Welcome back. Today we're gonna have a look at this Krypton 290 gas analyzer. Uh, it's actually an emissions analyzer for cars. Um, yeah, it's cold in the shop, so I thought I'd go to the lab because it's nice and warm here. Uh, as suspected in the earlier video, I think it's a power supply issue because every time the fans come or if every time the fan comes on the the display goes dim so we took it apart uh, it's dusty but not really dirty so that's a good thing we'll try to figure out when it was made um, the usual suspects are this is the mains incomer uh, capacitor uh, and these are the other ones they 85 degrees so it's quite possible that some of them actually went pop so the first we're going to check is uh, some voltages and uh, then we'll come back with some findings. Maybe it's something else, I don't know. Uh, there is a battery I've seen which is most likely empty if this thing was sitting around for a while. It's, uh, it's over here, there's a battery. Uh, it's most likely discharged. So, don't know what it stores, I have no idea. Um, yeah, we'll figure out what's going on and then uh, come back with some more conclusions here. I'll power it up and check the voltages. I'm not going to hold the camera because uh, you got to be careful because this mains voltage in it. I'm pretty sure we have a battery problem because when I turned it on first, the timer was not counting down. I don't know if that's visible. Now it's counting, but it didn't count down before, so I think that battery is pretty flat. We need to check that. But it still messes around with the display. If that fan comes on here, uh, the display is changing brightness or contrast, so something isn't right there. Uh, you need to see where that comes from, measure the voltage on that board. I think that's our main issue. It's quite a complex piece of kit, but uh, and it makes a hell of a noise. It's the exhaust which makes such a noise here. Put that somewhere else. All right, let's wait that uh, three minutes forty and uh, see what it does. As expected, we do have an issue with the five volt rail. Um, it's borderline already, and when the fan kicks in, uh, it drops down to about four point eight. I just don't know when the fan kicks in. It just happens sometimes, and also sometimes the timer stops counting doesn't count all the way down maybe you've got some poor contacts as well uh, that meter is pretty well calibrated so the fan kicked in I don't know if that was visible it was under 4.9 which is definitely not enough so we do have a power supply issue uh, unfortunately I have to reset it again so we are back to three minutes now I'm gonna wait that three minutes and uh, and we'll see what happens and that's happening if you press service or any button once the warm-up is finished uh, the voltage is now slightly higher but I expect some ripple being on the voltage here uh, we got 4.97 the fan has just kicked in and uh, it's definitely unstable that voltage and now we whatever we do it just goes wild Apparently, it's reacting to the uh, to the to the keys, but uh, everything is crumbled. So I believe uh, something is just ticking out here because of the low voltage. So let's find. Uh, we either we might have a bad contact as well because I moved it around and the timer stopped. We're still running, but the timer has stopped. So. We'll check the battery voltage first, because that may be an issue. Uh, I have absolutely no drawings. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit of fishing in the dark, but uh, we'll find something, I'm pretty sure. And the power supply is a good start, because it doesn't look right. Um, there is the fan is 12 volts, so there must be a 12 volt rail as well. And uh, we'll figure out what the voltage is there. Maybe that's low as well. 
perhaps we check for ripple and if you can see high ripple we know what the problem is it's probably one of the caps uh, this this one doesn't look healthy here it's a bit bulged anyway let's dig further and uh, we'll come back when we've got some ideas so that's what we get before we press any buttons so it comes to life but as soon as I press any buttons it just goes wild apparently it's got an hours counter with 34 hours on it now the fan came on and then you can see how the voltage drops if I press the setup menu it goes wild and I think that's because of the power supply is poor and if you press the reset button here it does an internal reset and uh, that's the warm up again so what I do I probably fit a big capacitor on the 5 volt and see if that makes a difference so just on that 5 volt supply I put a big capacitor on on 24 as well if that makes any difference and uh, that will at least prove we have a power supply problem strange date as well 1st of February 2001 or so. So we put a thousand microfarad there. It makes it a bit more stable, but it doesn't help. Um, I got a feeling every time the beeper comes on, uh, it drops the voltage too far down, and then the process just goes mad. Interestingly, it does still react to commands. You can see something, but the display is completely garbled here. It does different menus. So something is upset here uh, we check the voltage on the on the battery it should be 3.6 volt but it's only 1.2 and you can see there is some corrosion as well so what we're gonna do first is replace that battery because they may upset some memories here and uh, then we'll go from there so that's the next step you can see there's a lot of corrosive material came out of that one there is a possibility that something is no good we need to check all the tracks here just to make sure it's all good because you can see there's a lot of corrosion from this battery which has deteriorated over time so let's take that board out and uh, have a closer look at it I think we found something there's a lot of corrosion here I don't know if it's visible on camera but there is an awful lot of corrosion between the pins all over here so this is most likely conductive it looks like there is water yeah, it looks like water damage I don't know, I need to check the other boards because the battery is here so I wonder how can it creep over here and there is no sign of An electrolyte coming out of the battery so I think it's probably water damage or moisture or whatever so we give that a good scrub get rid of all the corrosion because this is certainly conductive here and that may explain why it's doing why it's going wild it's worth a try the keyboard is here and that's the display on it so and if this is all dirty, let's clean that and give it another try and check the other boards as well. So we got the rear side cleaned, but there is an awful lot more here. I think it was all the battery. There's a lot of corrosion around here in that area. So we're going to remove that battery and clean it as good as we can. Uh, we might need to replace a few components, we'll figure it out. It doesn't look good. That's the problem with old devices, with all these nickel cadmium batteries. It just die over time, there's nothing you can do. Uh, while we're at, let's have a look. 93, 94, 94. Yeah, so components are most likely from 93 and 94. So 
So it's probably produced 94, 95, that board. So the battery is most likely the same age. Anyway, let's get it out and see what we can rescue here. Looks pretty bad. That's the battery. Uh, it's completely drained, but there are some tracks here. I use a carbon brush, but this track is probably gone. That's eaten up here. It's completely corroded. It did get some charge when I was running it, but uh, yeah, this stuff is not healthy either. Anyway, let's clean that as good as we can, and then we'll see what we can do. We probably fix. Well, yeah, we can fit a gold cup. We'll do it for now. Just one of these high capacity electrolytics, uh, 5 volts, I uh, don't know, 1 farad or so. I don't have a 3.6 volt. I can make one up, I got some single cells. Uh, I'll think about it, what I'm gonna do. Maybe we can make 3 cells or so. Or I find another one, I don't know right now. I, I just looked into my battery collection and I don't have something which may fit there, at least not right now. Alright, let's clean that. It's definitely the memory battery because the date has just reset but on the time as well. So uh, yeah, we need to do something with this battery. I don't know what else it stores, maybe some calibration values, I don't know. We'll see. The interesting part is that the voltage raised to 5.1, so maybe the dead battery was draining too much current. Uh, but it still flickers when, when the fan comes on. So the power supply needs looking at. We'll see in a minute we know what's going on. Apparently it didn't help. It's behaving a bit different, so... Depends on, I don't know how to stop it. It's reacting on key presses, you know, that seems to work. It's just a display processor place up here. We'll find it somehow. Uh, I suspect that this beeper pulls it too far down, so next will be the power supply and the fresh battery. Uh, but that's gonna be tomorrow at late. I don't know for today. And. Uh, and we look at it. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Until next time. Mm -hmm.